Hello. I've come back to talk more about my rice paddle puppets. Um, I've said before, and it's not my idea when I say it, but uh, I kind of think that when you have a puppet story, a ballet puppet story, um, really any story, if you've got a boy, a girl, and a third person, then you have a whole story already. Um, so what I wanted to do, since I just showed you in another place how to draw or how to paint the puppet for a girl in a very general way, a general girl, <laughs> um, I wanted to turn her over and paint her boy on the flip side. And we're going to start basically where we were before. I'm going to look just as I had before for the center line on the big circle. I'm using this oval as a kind of face. Um, and so I'm looking for more or less the center line on that. And that's where I'm going to put the eyes. This is a white opalescent paint by Martha Stewart. It's called Wedding Cake. And I am very particular with the white that I use. I mentioned that in the other video because it needs to be shiny. And it also has to have some kind of interesting dimension happening in it because it's eyes and eyes are so intriguing. So when you paint the eyes, when you paint white, it's not going to appear as dark as opaque, proper word. It's not going to seem like dark enough, opaque enough, thick enough for you, for your eyes on the first round. I can still kind of see a bit of the brown of the paint. I'm sorry, the brown of the um, rice paddle underneath it. So what I like to do is paint some pretty thin layers so that it dries quickly and I can go back and go over it again with another coat. So I'm going to make just a bit of a guess that uh, someone might like to paint a brown haired fellow. So I'm gonna take my good old fashioned gold, which I think is the best thing to put in hair, and brown, this is espresso. So I'm gonna give it a shake, always give it a shake. First, really solid shake, and then put it into little little plate, or in this case, a little palette. And then I'm gonna shake up my gold. And there are, you you really like, this is a very basic gold. I've got so many different kinds of gold. Um, this is rose gold, which is another great one for hair. You do whatever, whatever you want. If you want to make a straight up blonde person, you would use yellow and gold. And the gold you'll notice is, it's a brown. It's just a glittering brown and you put the things that are gonna act as highlights in a little place where you can kind of work to mix them. I'm gonna take a paintbrush. I mentioned before, these are just some Craft Smart paintbrushes that I picked up at Michael's. And I'm going to dip it and then make sure that I don't have big blops, right? I want enough paint on my brush that it will, um, it'll put color down when I, when I swab it past, but I don't want so much that it's like a big glob because then I won't have any control over it. Now, I always mention that my puppets are not perfect. And they're not perfect because I'm not a good painter. And that's okay. I'm doing what I can with what I have. And I love what I'm doing. I'm very happy with my puppets. Now, I'm going to choose this guy to have, hmm. Let's have him have his part on the other side. Now, what I just did was I made a swoop in one direction, a swoop in the other direction, and then look right over the top. No big deal. Now, just like the eyes, I can kind of see the brown of the, of the paddle underneath the color. So you already know what that means. It means I'm going to have to do extra coats. And when I do the extra coats, look, I can add extra dimension because yes, I, sp I, you know, I paint this on and it's going to make its little layers. You could see all of the brush strokes and that's great but we're not gonna just do it once or twice because you see, he needs many coatings to make it clear that what we've got here is hair and not just a brown shade on top of a wood paddle. So now we're gonna guess that our fellow needs pants and a shirt. More often than not, shirts are white. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the white and I always give myself extra white because you can always use it to change the color of other things that are happening around. Now, this white is the color of his eyes. I don't want anything that is this color on him besides his eyes. 
his eyes need to be special. Once in a while, I've made a wedding dress the same color as someone's eyes, and that's fine. But what you really need to be sure of is that you're giving him something, you know, uh, an article of clothing or a color on him that is um, making it, that it's clearly a different part of him. You know, you're not confused over, over, you know, a color that appears in one place or another. Now, here's a bit of a tricky part. You guys might've noticed I took a bit of brown and I mixed it in, into the opalescent white, the wedding cake white. And when I did that, it's making a color that's really not that different from the color of the paddle. And so what you have to do is find his, find him a kind of shirt. He needs a V up here, and then it's just a straight line until you get to the waist. And we'll need to give him some kind of belt. Usually my belts are brown or black, but it needs to be three. You basically have to come up with three different colors. Now, this looks like a really natural shirt. It's kind of... It seems almost thicker, more opaque than the eyes were, which is interesting all by itself. It's off white. It's not bad, I think it'll do. Now we want pants. I'm gonna give him brown pants. Did you see how up here I mixed brown and gold? Not just to give him dimension, but to make sure that one part of him was not the same color as another part. Cause you see, if one part is the same color as another part, what happens is it looks, mm, it looks somehow incorrect. All right, now everyone has seen pants. We all know. Pants need to, especially for the simplicity of our puppet, pants need to be one color. So you have to work to make sure that your pants are one color. And then pants have two legs. So after you've given us, or we've given ourselves a really basic color, um, we're going to draw the lines that identify that we've got two legs, easy peasy. What you are probably noticing is that I'm not adding paint. I'm just kind of like blending, you know, there was a little bit of the shirt white that I'm putting all through the, the brown pant. And as I keep rubbing it in basically, the paddle, which is a porous bamboo, is it's absorbing the color. And that's something that you can see, by the way, when you look on the other side at the pink. Do you remember when I told you that the pink was going to change color as it dried? And the reason that, um, the reason that putting extra on would alter the color is that the thickness of the paint as it's on the puppet, um, the thickness of the paint is gonna soak into the wood and that's gonna make the color look different. Now, we're technically still painting. I can, you know, when I'm done with my boy, I can turn over, turn him over and repaint the backside of my girl. That's totally fine if I think the whites of her eyes aren't white enough or whatever. Though I will remind you that I've already put brown on this paintbrush. Um, so you should be really careful to only use the colors or use the brushes in one color at a time and wash them in between if you're going to reuse a brush. So I'm gonna come back over here and I was just showing you how when you paint and you kind of blend the colors and you just keep painting on top of the brown or on top of any color really, what happens is that the, uh, the bamboo is absorbing the paint. And so you, you kind of can't go wrong. It's just going to make it a color that's easier to see, a color that's clear, a color that's more solid. Um, I have done um, a lot of different puppets where what I did was I took the color on my finger and I rubbed it because the look of the rubbing, it makes it look like all of the, all of the colors soaked into the wood and it gives you just a different texture. I've done that before. It's, it's kind of something that's pickier than um, it needs to be for what you're doing. But there's really no wrong answer. The point is that you have fun. Now I'm gonna take a black and make a belt. Get on notice, I'm gonna put a lot of black. Like I said before, you don't wanna have a bulb, but in this case, I'm gonna make one clear big black line. He kind of looks like Basil from Don Quixote with this. And then I'm gonna take the brush on the bottom and the boy's shoes are just a U. Mine are kind of like J's, but it'll still do the job. Now, I was a little bit concerned with his 
eyes before. You remember that? So I'm taking my last clean brush. Any clean brush is fine. All you have to do to clean these brushes is to run them under warm water. So don't feel like you're stuck. But right now, ooh, I made a mistake. Ah, <gasps> there was black on this? How, when? Well, don't cry. Take your finger and clear it off. And then I always use my left hand to rub anything off. Finger paint. It's actually gonna come out pretty nice. Don't know if you can see that. You don't want any big clumps, but that is one clean, clear white, all right. I want the other eye to look the same. Mm -hmm. It's going pretty well. All right, and then I'm gonna rub it a bit so that there's no big globs. And I'm gonna breathe on it. <gasps> Now, does he look done? <gasps> no, he's going to need some eyeballs <laughs> and he's going to need a nose. And it wouldn't be bad if he had a mouth. Am I right? So while his eyes are drying, I'm going to give him a mouth. The boys I never give lips to, they deserve lips. I'm not saying they don't. I'm just really casual with the boys and I make sure to give him a little smirk. You can make his mouth however you want it to be. And it's pretty good to give him a tiny little whisper of a nose too. And then I'm gonna take this brown, my last brown. I'm gonna judge how I feel about his eyebrows and I'm gonna give him little eyebrows. Did you notice that these do not need to be perfect? They are just little lines that suggest facial traits. And then the very last thing we're gonna do to him is give him pupils, dot, dot. There are all kinds of little things that you could do to make him, I don't know, festive or different or to make it look like there's something especially important about him. One of the things that um, I'm asked to do a lot is give them roses, like a um, corsage, right? And a rose is on the chest. It's a little twirl of the brush, a little twirl of the brush. And you make sure you got a one good solid color in the twirl of the brush. And then you're gonna take a lighter color and just brush it along the top of the little brush, of the little brush um, brush hairs, right? Little, little tiny parts and swirl a bit and swirl a bit. And then when you mix those together, I think she needs to be darker. Then you have enough dimension to make it look like a corsage. I hope that's clear. I know sometimes these things look really clear in videos and then sometimes they don't. So with any luck, this is clearly a boy puppet. And with any luck, this is clearly a girl puppet. In fact, didn't I just say a moment ago, I'd like to extra paint her dress. I have taken many, many, many colors and I have been fairly messy with them. Not careful, not tidy, not at all. But that is all okay because you are trying to do something fun, am I right? So by all means, make your puppets as fun as you can make them.